Netflix is a popular streaming service that lets people watch TV shows, movies, and videos online. It was started in California, USA, in 1997 by Reed Hastings and Mark Randolph. At first, the company's main goal was to rent DVDs by mail. In 2007, however, it started its online streaming service, which is now its major goal. Netflix lets people stream material on many different devices, like smartphones, tablets, smart TVs, and game consoles. It gives people suggestions based on what they've watched before and has a lot of features that make it easy to find new things to watch. Netflix has a lot of original TV shows, movies, and specials in its huge library. Stranger Things, Narcos, The Crown, and House of Cards are some of its most watched original shows. It also rents material from other studios, like Friends and The Office, which are both popular TV shows. Since its start, the company has grown quickly. It now has more than 200 million users in more than 190 countries. It has become a big player in the entertainment business, and its business model has changed the way TV and movies are made and sold. Netflix Target Audience People of all ages and backgrounds who are interested in streaming TV shows, movies, and films are Netflix's target audience. However, the company's material is mostly geared toward young adults and families. Netflix's content plan is to make a lot of different original shows that will appeal to a wide range of people. They have a wide range of material, including action, comedy, drama, romance, and documentaries, so everyone can find something they like. Also, Netflix's algorithms make personalized suggestions based on a user's watching history and preferences, which helps to make the service even more relevant to the user's interests. This strategy has helped the company build a loyal user base that is willing to pay a monthly fee to get access to its huge library of material. Overall, Netflix has a wide range of customers in mind, but its marketing and content are mostly geared toward younger people and families who want to stream TV shows and movies. Netflix Marketing Mix The marketing mix, also called the four Ps, is a set of tools that businesses use to promote and sell their products or services. Netflix uses the marketing mix in the following ways. Netflix's product is its streaming service, which has a huge collection of TV shows, movies, and documentaries that you can watch online. Netflix not only licenses material from other studios, but it has also put a lot of money into making its own content, which has become a big draw for its users. Netflix's prices are based on subscriptions, and there are three levels of service, basic, standard, and premium. Prices change depending on what features are included, like how many screens can be used at once and how good the streaming video is. New users can also get a free trial from the company. Promotion Netflix's approach for promoting its own content is to get people talking about it through social media, ads, and content marketing. The company reaches its target audience through targeted advertising on social media platforms. It has also teamed up with influencers and celebrities to push its content. Place Netflix is an online-only service, so it doesn't have a physical location. Users can access the service on a wide range of devices, such as smartphones, tablets, smart TVs, and gaming systems. Netflix's marketing mix is based on offering a high-quality streaming service at different prices and promoting its own content through targeted ads and content marketing. It only does business online, so customers can use its service from anywhere. This makes it easy for a wide range of people to use. Marketing Campaigns for Netflix over the years, Netflix has run a number of successful advertising campaigns to push its content and services. Here are some examples. Stranger Things To promote the premiere of its hit show Stranger Things, Netflix made a marketing campaign that included a retro-style poster, a fake trailer for a made-up horror movie called The Hawkins National Laboratory, and a social media scavenger hunt where people had to find hidden clues about the show. Black Mirror before the fourth season of the show came out, Netflix ran a campaign called 13 Days of Black Mirror. Every day, trailers, posters, and behind-the-scenes videos were released on social media, and on the last day, the whole season came out. Bird Box To promote its post-apocalyptic thriller Bird Box, 
Netflix started a social media promotion that included a challenge for users to blindfold themselves and try to do everyday things, like walking, with the hashtag hashtag Bird Box Challenge. The Crown, to promote the third season of its hit show The Crown, Netflix started a campaign that included a takeover of the New York Times website with stories about the historical events shown on the show. Stranger Things x Coca-Cola In a partnership with Coca-Cola, Netflix made a limited edition new Coke product that was shown in the third season of Stranger Things. As part of the relationship, characters from the show were used in a retro-style ad for the product. Netflix's marketing strategies are known for being creative and able to get people talking about its content. To reach its target audience, it uses social media and partnerships with other brands. Netflix Marketing Strategies Here is a summary of Netflix's most important business plans. Content Creation Netflix's main strategy is to make and select high-quality original content that will appeal to its target audience. Every year, the company spends billions of dollars on making original TV shows and movies to keep people interested and bring in new subscribers. Personalization Netflix uses algorithms to make material suggestions for each user based on how they watch, what they like, and what they have watched in the past. By giving users a unique experience, Netflix can keep them interested and happy, which leads to longer subscriptions and more money. Social Media and Influencer Marketing Netflix uses social media to promote its content and build brand recognition. The company also works with celebrities and people with a lot of impact to reach new audiences and get people talking about its shows and movies. Data Analytics Netflix uses data analytics to learn about how and what its users like to do. By looking at user data, Netflix is able to make sure that its content and marketing efforts are better suited to what its users want. Netflix interacts with its customers in different ways, such as through social media, email, and push alerts. The company uses these channels to talk to its customers, give them personalized suggestions, and let them know when new material is coming out. Pricing Strategy Netflix has different plans with different prices to appeal to a wide group of customers. The business also gives new users a free trial time to get them to sign up. Partnerships and co-branding Netflix has worked with companies like Apple, Samsung, and LG to put its app on their products. The company has also worked with other companies like Coca-Cola and Uber to get the word out about its products and services. Overall, Netflix's marketing strategies focus on producing and organizing high-quality content, making personalized suggestions, interacting with customers, and using partnerships and data analytics to attract and keep subscribers. If you work in the service industry, we hope that these tips will help you come up with a marketing plan for your business. Now that you learned the marketing strategies of Netflix, see if you can answer the following question and write your answers in the comment section below. Which marketing strategy of Netflix involves working with celebrities and influential people to promote its shows and movies? A. Personalization B. Data Analytics C. Social Media and Influencer Marketing D. Content Creation